uh, me and my siblings were born in the Philippines and in 1994 my parents emigrated us to to Canada and Vancouver. From an early age my my parents instilled uh, the values of loving God and loving Christ and loving the church and loving people early on. I also remember he was a huge romantic. Oftentimes we would fall asleep as kids, we'd go up to bed and my parents were still downstairs in the living room singing karaoke to each other. And so he talked about God a lot and he always stressed the importance of developing a relationship with him. I used to um, read the Bible to take after my dad quite a bit. I loved God from an early age and I just continued to, to develop as I, I got older. One day when I was 15, my parents sat us down and that's when they broke us, broke out the news that my dad had cancer. He started losing a lot of energy, of course. The treatment was hard on his body and even his voice changed. And so he would still sing to my mom and, but it wouldn't be the same kind of voice. And I remember um, one time he had some words for me and we had a, just a small conversation. Um, looking back now, I realized that those were the final words that he wanted to say to me. And I wish I, I'd paid more attention to everything that he said, but all I remember from that conversation is that he told me never to lose my laughter and never lose my joy. I wish as a teenager, I took it more seriously. Uh, it was probably the same week. I thought I'd heard my mom screaming. I got out of my bedroom and I saw siren lights uh, shining into our house. And so immediately I feared for the worst and I ran downstairs. Um, I saw the paramedics, they were taking my dad away. He had, he had passed. And I just remember that we were all just crying. So that morning, I remember that uh, immediately we already had support in our house from family members and close church friends. Really, this is where I felt God's presence the most. I don't think we were ever in a situation uh, questioning where was God in all of this because of the support that we felt tangibly. Fast forward a few months, um, we got gotten past the stage where everyone was really surrounding us and, and now we were off kind of as our own, as a family. And that's when we really started to see how everything, how everyone was grieving. And obviously my mom, she was still uh, grieving in her, in her own way. She wasn't wearing colors as much. And then for me, I kind of felt like I had the responsibility to be the one who mediates any issues that our family would have. So I don't think we really processed everything fully and we were kind of just putting band-aids on things when there were deeper issues going on. That went on for about like another six months that, you know, we would be having a lot of conflict resolution with each other. And one day, you know, it just really hit us as kids, you know, mom's wearing color again. And it was at that point that, you know, we, we started noticing that she had a radiance in her face that she didn't have for the past two years and becoming her old self that, okay, I really do believe that there has been healing here and that God has been working in this situation. And so after, you know, that period when we started seeing my mom like that, I started to realize that, okay, yeah, God was working in our family through this. Fast forward um, a few years later, I had found the love of my life and we had gotten married and had a child named Daniel and we ended up moving to Edmonton. So immediately I went to um, look for a church that I knew who would support us and that we could um, volunteer and serve and that led us to Celebration Church. It didn't take long for us to find our, our place in the church. I started serving in the sound team and um, we found a really nice small connect group uh, that, that took us in right away and immediately we started to feel like family. We started to feel like even though we didn't ha know anyone here, we didn't have any family here, 
that celebration was a place that we could call a home. This was super important for me to find this church family because as I saw my dad do it when we moved from the, from the Philippines um, over the years since I've joined Celebration Church, me and my family have gone through our own things that we couldn't have done without this, the help of God and um, the love of God through His His people and these are the people that we do life with every day. The thing that I've noticed myself doing less of now is questioning why something happened, questioning God, why why did this happen to me? Um, I don't do that as, as often anymore. What I do find myself doing is searching for God in a situation because I know He can be found somewhere.